Hi, I'm Ellie Ramsey and I've developed a new web series all around the chalk furniture paint that I have developed and I'm going to show you lots of different ways that you can use my paint and I'm hoping to inspire you to put your creative hat on to turn something old that's in your home into a new piece to give it some new life and to inject soul into your home. Along the way we will have lots of fun together so please enjoy. Today I'm excited to show you a few different things, a few different techniques using Blake and Taylor chalk furniture paint. I've got this beautiful old French chair that I found in France and we're going to use two different colours of paint. I'm going to show you how to distress the top layer of paint to expose the other colour underneath. And I'm all very excited also to show you how to paint fabric. This is velvet on the back of this chair and we're, I'm going to show you how to paint with Blake and Taylor chalk furniture paint and change the colour of this velvet. So let's go, hope you enjoy. Before you start to paint and clean, it's good to tape up any areas like I'm doing here over the fabric and the braid with a no leak masking tape. Make sure you press it into all the sections. I'm pushing it in along the base of the braid there so no paint gets onto my braid or my fabric. Once you've taped up all the relevant sections that you don't want to get paint on, then clean with Metho. This gets off all the grease spots that you can't see because my paint won't adhere to any grease. If you don't want to use Metho, you can use a sugar soap solution. And then I'm putting on now two coats of Simply Yellow paint. Make sure you put it on evenly, don't, not too thin and not too thick. Just put, it, put on a nice even coat two coats actually, not just one, put on two nice even coats of yellow. I've finished painting the chair all in yellow and I'm going to do a blue coat on it now but before I go ahead and paint the timber with a blue coat I'm going to paint this fabric here this is a velvet fabric and I'm going to paint it with Blake and Taylor paint and I've wet down this fabric use a spray bottle with some water and you can just spray it make sure it's all quite wet it's quite wet to touch and then with your paint I've mixed up some of the paint colour, which is, I've used French blue and I've put a little bit of charcoal in it to change the colour to match the blue that's on this fabric better because the French blue just by itself was too blue and it didn't go well with the stripe in the fabric. So I've put some charcoal in it and now the two colours blend together really well, the fabric and the blue that's going to be on the frame. So. The consistency is quite runny with the water and the paint and then you have to paint it on quite, it depends on the fabric actually, this is a velvet so it's quite wet and once you start painting you'll see what happens and you'll, you'll understand how much or how less paint you have to put onto your piece of fabric. So just experiment a little bit and quite fun actually and the velvet has a nice nap as you can see and don't do it all in one direction mix it up a bit depending on your fabric again because this is velvet I'm doing doing it in different directions and because the frame is going to be this same color blue it's okay if I get a bit on the frame because I'll be going over that with the thicker, the thicker blue grey paint when I finish doing this fabric. So I've finished painting the fabric and it takes a while to dry so don't don't worry it looks doesn't look as good as it is going to look right now but it will do once it's dry and that might take a day or so for it to dry. So now I'm going to finish painting the frame. Um, one thing I wanted to tell you as well with this table that I've got here, I've put it on wheels which is really 
great. It makes it really easy when you want to do a project and you can just turn it. You don't have to move around the table all the time. So think about that for your workbench that you have. Just makes it much easier. Now I'm going to continue to paint the frame. Now you can hear Bill the dog, he's drinking out of my water bucket. Bill our border collie. So now I've done my glue over the frame, I'm still waiting for the fabric to dry but I'm going to just distress it now to highlight some of the yellow that's underneath. So I just gently, I'm going to just gently use my sander. And just on selected areas, you don't have to do everywhere. But just certain sections and just bring out the yellow that I'll put underneath. Now that I've distressed my piece and I'm showing through some of the yellow paint that's underneath, the last thing to do now is to put on the clear top coat and then we'll be done. Remember when you're putting on the clear top coat, don't put it on too thick or it will yellow. Put it on as thin as you can and you don't, that's a good idea too because you don't want to have any drips happening with the clear top coat. So put it on thinly. And once this is done, this chair will be finished. So we cleaned our piece with metho. We put two coats of Blake and Taylor Simply Yellow. Then we put a coat of French Blue I tried and it didn't match the fabric well enough. So then I mixed some charcoal into the French Blue to get a better tone of blue that matches this fabric that's on the chair. Then I distressed sections of the chair to show through the simply yellow that was underneath. And now I'm doing a clear top coat to give it a nice satin finish. So here's our finished chair. I'm really excited how it turned out. I'm really thrilled also about the velvet that I painted. It's come up super well. I do hope that you enjoyed what you learned today and that it added to your skill set. There's lots of things you can pick up on my videos when I do them. I hope you've enjoyed today and that you will go forward and create your own pieces and bring some soul into your home with transforming old into new. So we'll see you next time.